the dentist. My friend's father is a dentist. He has an office near my house. I went to see him on Thursday. His nurse told me to sit in a very big chair. She tied a bib under my chin. The dentist came in. He examined my teeth with some shiny silver tools. He looked at my front teeth and my back teeth. He told me that the back teeth were called molars. He told me to open wide. He had a little mirror that he used to look at my teeth. He said that I had good, strong teeth. He told me that I didn't have any cavities. I told him that I didn't eat a lot of candies and that I always brush my teeth after every meal. He said that was very good. He asked me if I flossed my teeth, and I said, yes, I use dental floss every day. He told me that my teeth were healthy because I took very good care of them. He left and told me to keep up the good work. The dental hygienist came in, and she said she would clean my teeth for me. She scraped my teeth with a sharp tool, and then she put some polish on my teeth and began to clean them. When she was done, she told me to spit into a bowl, and then I rinsed my mouth out with water. I looked into a mirror and saw that my teeth were very shiny and white. If I take care of my teeth, I'll have them forever. I would like to keep my teeth healthy and white. I like to smile. The school play. We are putting on a play at school. Some of the students are actors in the play. Some people are building the sets. Some people will sew costumes, and some people will be makeup artists. The teacher is the director of the play. The play will be held on a big stage in the gymnasium. The curtains will open, the lights will go on, and the play will begin. It will be very exciting. All of our families will come to see the play. They will clap when the play is over. My friend is very good at cutting wood and building things. He's helping to build the set. My other friend, Michael, is an artist, so he is painting the set so that it looks like a forest. My friend Marie likes to put makeup on people, so she is a makeup artist. She will put makeup on me so that I will look like an old woman. Some of the mothers help to sew the costumes. The play is called Hansel and Gretel. I will play the part of the witch. The boy who plays Hansel has to wear shorts and a shirt. I will wear a witch's hat and a black dress. 
I also carry a broom. Some of the people in my class will be dressed like trees and flowers. This is a musical play, and the trees and flowers will sing the Hansel and Gretel as they walk through the forest. I can hardly wait for opening night. I want my family and friends to see me acting on stage. I hope they will like the play. We have all learned our lines and worked very hard at making this play a success. Emotions. Do you ever think about your emotions? What kinds of things make you sad? I get sad when I get a bad mark in school or when someone that I like moves away. I sometimes see sad movies that make me cry. I don't like to be sad. I don't like to have a frown on my face. I like to be happy. I'm happy most of the time. Parties make me happy. Being with my friends makes me happy. Lots of things make me happy. If someone tells me a joke, I laugh. I enjoy laughing. Funny movies make me laugh. I think that people look the best when they smile. What kinds of things make you mad? I get mad when my brother breaks one of my toys. I try not to show it when I get mad. My parents get mad at me if I come home late. I don't think anger is a good emotion. It is best to stay calm and talk things over. Emotions come from inside you, but they show on your face. People can tell when you're mad or sad or happy. I prefer to look happy. Sometimes I even smile when I'm feeling sad, and the smile makes me feel a little better. My first job. I just got a job at the grocery store. This is my first job. I will receive a paycheck every two weeks. I wear a uniform. The uniform has the name of the grocery store on it. I have many jobs at the grocery store. I have to collect all the carts from the parking lot and bring them back into the store. I have to put all the produce out for the people to see. I will be putting out the vegetables. There are carrots, lettuce, cabbages, cucumbers, and beans to put out this morning. I also have to put the fruit out on the stand so that it looks nice. The oranges roll away when I put them out, so I have to be careful. I put out the apples, bananas, and grapes. I stack boxes up so that people can buy cereal and cookies. I have to be careful 
or the boxes will fall. There are cans of things which also need to be placed on the shelves. The lie. Yesterday I told a lie. I don't feel very good about it. I was bouncing a ball in the kitchen, and the ball bounced up and broke a cup. It was one of my mother's best cups, so I was afraid that she would be mad. I put the broken cup back on the table, and I didn't tell anyone that I had broken it. That night, my mother asked who had broken the cup. My brother said, "Not me." My sister said, "I didn't do it." I said, "I didn't break the cup, but I." Was lying. My mother said that we would all be punished if someone didn't tell the truth and say who broke the cup. I still did not tell her that I had broken it. She gave us one more chance and said she wasn't mad about the cup. She just wanted us to be honest. I still didn't say anything. My brother, sister, and I all got sent to our rooms. We had to stay in our rooms all morning. My brother said it wasn't fair. I felt very bad because my brother and sister were being punished because of me. I went to my mother and told her that I had broken the cup. She said she was not upset about the broken cup. She knew it was an accident. She was disappointed in me because I hadn't come forward and told the truth. She said she wouldn't have punished me if I had been honest with her. I told my brother and sister that I was sorry. I felt bad because they were punished because I was dishonest. I told my mother that I was sorry that I had lied to her. I told her that I had learned a lesson. Honesty is the best policy. It is better to tell the truth. It is not a good feeling when people don't trust you. I have learned that lying just hurts people. Sometimes it is hard to be honest, but it is the best way to be. Hobbies. A lot of people have hobbies. Hobbies are interesting things that people like to do in their spare time. My father has a hobby. He has a model railroad set that he put together. A tiny electric train runs through make-believe villages and travels through tunnels and over mountains. My father also enjoys sailing. He has a real sailboat that he takes us out on. He is teaching me how to sail. I like to collect things. I collect comic books, stamps, and coins. I trade comic books with some of my friends, and sometimes I buy comic books at stores. 
Some of the very old comic books are worth a lot of money. I have stamps from all over the world. Whenever any of my friends gets a letter from a far away place, they save the stamps for me. I have stamps from England, Japan, Australia, and even Russia. I use a magnifying glass to look at the stamps, and I keep them in a special album. I don't have too many coins yet, but I have a very old coin from Canada, and I have a coin with a hole in it from Africa. My mother used to collect dolls when she was a little girl. The dolls wore costumes from different countries. My friend John's hobby is painting. He does oil painting. He has even sold some of his paintings. He is a good artist. My friend Linda sews. She has made clothes for herself and some of her friends. Maybe Linda will be a fashion designer when she gets older. Sometimes people's hobbies lead them into their careers. Christmas. In December, Christmas comes. We get a holiday from school. And our parents get a few days off from work. Our family gets ready for Christmas by decorating the house. We decorate inside and out. On the outside of the house, we put up lights that twinkle and glow. We have a wooden Santa Claus and a reindeer set that. My father puts up on the roof. Inside, we put up a Christmas tree. Some years, we have a real tree. Real pine trees smell nice, but you have to be careful that they don't dry out and start a fire. This year, we have an artificial tree. We hang tinsel and ornaments on the tree. We also hang strands of light on the tree and put a star on the top. Everyone thinks that the tree is beautiful when we turn on the lights. We place gifts under the tree. There is a gift from me under the tree. It is wrapped in red paper, and it has a big green bow on it. Red and green are the Christmas colors. On Christmas Eve, my brother and sister and I will hang our stockings near the fireplace. Santa Claus comes down the chimney and fills our stockings full of toys and goodies. On Christmas morning, it is exciting to see what Santa has left for you. My mother will take a big turkey dinner for us on Christmas Day. We will have lots of vegetables and good-tasting foods to go with the turkey. We will have dessert too. Some of my family like Christmas pudding. But I will just have ice cream. Last year, some carolers came to the door. It was snowing outside. They stood in the snow and sang Christmas carols to us. My father gave them some money, and my mother gave them some hot chocolate to warm them up. 
They had lovely voices, and they sang some of my favorite carols. We also collect food, gifts, and money for some of the people in town who cannot afford to have Christmas. My family is collecting things for a poor family who lives near here. We had fun deciding which toys to buy for the children of that family. It was a good feeling to share with people who do not have as much as you do. My parents have always taught us that Christmas is a time for giving, not receiving. I think they're right. Garden. The garden is very interesting. I sometimes go outside and I watch all the things that go on in the garden. It smells wonderful in the flower garden. There are red, white, pink, and yellow roses that have a sweet smell. I watch the bees as they take pollen from the roses. There are tiny bugs that live on the rose bushes. My mother tries to get rid of the little bugs, but it is difficult to get rid of them. She is glad to see the red ladybugs who eat the little bugs. The birds like the sunflowers. They like to eat sunflower seeds. There is a bird bath in the garden. The blackbirds and swallows go in there to take a drink or have a bath. I sometimes see a robin or a blue jay in there too. In the dirt, there are little holes where the ants go in and out. The ants are hard workers. I watch them as they work together as a team to bring food to their nests. There are snails in the garden too. They carry their homes on their backs. They move slowly and leave a silvery trail as they go. They eat the leaves from my mother's plants. My mother also has vegetables growing in her garden. She grows green peas. We like to pick those and eat the peas raw, right out of their pods. She grows lettuce and tomatoes too. We have so many tomatoes that we always give some to our neighbors. My mother sends us outside to pick lettuce and tomatoes whenever we have a salad. My favorite vegetables are carrots. Their tips grow above the earth, but the carrots are below the dirt. When you pick them, you have to pull the carrots out from under the soil. Weeds also grow in the garden. After a good rainfall, it seems that the weeds just spring up. I pull the weeds out by their roots so they won't grow back. They'd choke the good plants, so we don't want them in our garden. Gardening is a good hobby. You get fresh air, sunshine, and exercise. You even get beautiful, colorful flowers and nice fresh food. The pet store. On Saturday, my parents took us to the pet store. 
They had everything that you would need if you had a pet. They had dog food, collars, and leashes for dogs. They had treats to give your dog and brushes to brush your dog. For cats, they had food, toys, and litter boxes. For birds, they had seeds and cages. There was a section for fish. They had fish in big tanks and little bowls. In the big tanks, there were colorful fish swimming around. The girl who worked there said that they were tropical fish. There were goldfish in the smaller fish bowls. I saw the girl get a goldfish out with a little net. She sold it to a boy who said he had another goldfish at home. There was a very large cage with a parrot in it. I walked up to the cage and the parrot said, hello. I was surprised that the parrot could talk. It could say a few things. It said, I love you, pretty bird, and bye-bye. I told my mother that I would like a parrot, but she said that parrots need a lot of care and attention. At the back of the store, there were some puppies. They seemed glad to see me. I stuck my hand into the cage and one of them licked my hand. They were very lively. They were running around and chasing their own tails. In the next cage, there were two kittens. One of them was playing with a toy and the other one was asleep. The kittens were very small. The one that was sleeping was curled up into a ball. I couldn't even see her face. I didn't want to leave the pet store. I was wishing that I could take all the animals home with me. My first day of school. I remember my first day of school. I was excited, but I was afraid. I held my mother's hand as we walked to the school. When we got near the school, I wouldn't let her hold my hand anymore. I didn't want to look like a baby. We got to the school. The school looked very big and frightening. There were children outside on the playground. They all looked very big. I looked at them and some of them looked at me. I felt very small. My mother and I went into the school and found the kindergarten room. There were children in there. Most of them were the same size as me. My mother spoke to the kindergarten teacher. The teacher was very nice. She said my name and she introduced me to some of the other children. I already knew some of the children because they lived near me. I began to play with some of the things that were in the classroom. There were toy trucks, coloring books, and even a dollhouse. I soon forgot to be scared and I began to play with the other children. 
I didn't even notice that my mother had left the room. In school, we sang songs, played some games, and listened as the teacher read us a story. I had a lot of fun on my first day of school. I even drew a picture of my teacher. I took the picture home, and my mother put it on the refrigerator. I like school. It is a good place to meet friends and learn all about the world. Transportation. People move from place to place. There are lots of ways you can move around from one place to another. Sometimes you can just move your feet and walk. Walking is good for you. Some places are too far to walk to. You might have to ride a bicycle or ride on a skateboard. Some places. Are too far away to ride your bicycle to. You might have to drive in a car, or a van, or even a truck. My father has a car. My uncle has a van. I have never been in a big truck. Trucks are used to carry big loads from one city to another. I would like to be a truck driver. I would travel all over and sit high up in the cab. I have been in a taxi cab. Once, my mother and I took a taxi to the hospital. There was a special meter in the taxi. When we finished our taxi ride, the driver looked at the meter. To find out how much money we owed him, I once rode a horse. I sat in the saddle and held on tight to the reins. The horse ran very fast. It was a bumpy ride, and I was afraid that I would fall off the horse. Not too many people around here use horses for transportation. They used to use horses for transportation in the old days. If you want to travel very far away, you have to go on a train, a plane, or a boat. If you are in a hurry, it is best to take a plane. Planes fly through the air very fast. Trains go along the tracks. Sometimes I can hear the train whistle from my house. Boats take a long time to cross the ocean. Great big boats that cross the ocean are old ships. If you like to take it easy and look out at the water. Then ships are a good way to travel. They say that the world is a lot smaller now because of transportation. People can travel to all parts of the world quickly and easily. The world is not really smaller, but it has become easy to get to far away places. Television. Do you watch television? My mother says that I watch too much television. I watch cartoons on Saturday mornings. Cartoons make me laugh. My brother and I each have our favorite cartoons. We have trouble deciding which cartoons we will watch. On Saturday afternoons, we like to play sports. My brother really likes to watch baseball, but usually my mother tells us to go out and play on Saturday afternoon. On weeknights, 
we have our own favorite shows. I like shows about outer space and monsters. My brother likes comedies. He likes to laugh. My mother likes shows about real life situations. She likes to watch the news. She says that the news is important. She watches the news and weather to find out what is going on in the world. Sometimes she watches real life shows about doctors or policemen. My father doesn't watch television. He says that he would rather read a good book or the newspaper. My dad gets all his news from the newspaper. My favorite thing is to sit in front of the television with a big bag of popcorn and a bottle of pop. I sit there and change the channels with the remote control. I change channels and watch a few different shows at once. My mother won't let me watch too much television. She doesn't want me to get lazy. Television is good if you don't spend too much time watching it. You can learn a lot from television if you watch the educational channels. I learned about dinosaurs and rainforests last week just from watching television. My country. I live in Canada. It is a very large country that is made up of 10 provinces and three territories. Most of the provinces and territories are quite unique. For example, in Saskatchewan, the land is flat and it is not surrounded by water. They grow wheat in Saskatchewan. British Columbia has mountains. I have never been in British Columbia, but I hear that it is very beautiful. Nova Scotia is on the Atlantic Ocean, so there are many fishermen out there. The people in the provinces are even different from each other. In Quebec, many of the people speak French. In the maritime provinces, the people like to play their own kind of music. They play fiddles and accordions, and many of them dance very well. Nunavut is in the north, so life is quite different there. The people who live in the new territory of Nunavut are very close to wildlife. They do a lot of hunting and fishing. It can get very cold up in the Arctic where Nunavut is. I live in Ontario. Even within Ontario, life can be quite different. The capital of Ontario is Toronto. Toronto is a very busy city with lots of apartments, offices, and shops. Toronto is an exciting place and it has a lot to offer. There are theaters and restaurants to suit every taste. The culture in Toronto is very diverse. If you drive a few miles north of Toronto, you will find places that are tranquil and peaceful. Many people leave Toronto on the weekends and drive to their cottages where they find rest and relaxation. Canada is made of many different cultures. People of many different ethnic backgrounds live in harmony in Canada. That is why I like Canada. In Canada, we celebrate our differences. Food. 
What kinds of foods do you like to eat? I am lucky because in Canada there are many foods to choose from. I like to eat hot dogs, hamburgers, and steak. These are all meat products. I also like cheese, ice cream, and yogurt. These are all dairy products. I like vegetables. My favorite vegetables are broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and peas. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat whatever fruit is in season. In strawberry season, I eat a lot of strawberries. In peach season, I eat many peaches. Sometimes my mother will make a peach pie. Many different crops grow in Canada. We have many orchards and farms. Fresh fruit and vegetables are plentiful in Canada. Meat and fish are also plentiful here. In Canada, we have a lot of different foods to choose from. In my city, there are a lot of Italian restaurants. My favorite food at the Italian restaurant is pizza. My parents would rather have spaghetti or lasagna. There are Greek restaurants, Mexican restaurants, and Chinese restaurants. In fact, there are restaurants from most cultures. I can go around from restaurant to restaurant and pretend that I am traveling the world and trying all the different foods from around the world. Sometimes I eat things that aren't good for me. I eat potato chips and candies. These foods aren't part of a nutritious diet, but they are fun to eat. The zoo. My class took a trip to the Toronto Zoo. I had a wonderful time there. My favorite animals were the lions. They look very powerful and strong. They say that the lion is the king of the forest, and I think that title suits him. The monkeys were funny. They were looking at us just as much as we looked at them. They were swinging from branches and doing tricks to impress us. There was a baby monkey that was clinging to its mother's back. It was very cute. The tigers were pacing back and forth. They seemed restless. The stripes on a tiger are very beautiful. We watched the tall giraffes as they nibbled leaves off the tallest trees. We spoke to a colorful parrot that spoke back to us. We saw exotic animals that we had never seen before. Some of them were very strange. There were different types of bears there. There were black bears. I saw a black bear once when I was camping up north. We saw polar bears. Polar bears are white. They like the cold. We even saw panda bears. One of my friends bought a toy panda bear from the gift shop because she thought that the pandas were so cute. We saw slithery snakes. Some of the snakes had very bright skins. Most of the girls were afraid of the snakes. The zookeeper was looking after the snakes and one of them hissed at him. He has to be very careful when he works with the snakes. The last thing we saw at the zoo was the elephant. He was enormous. He looked at us and then raised his trunk and made a loud sound. It made us jump. The Museum 
The museum was very interesting. There were so many things in the museum that I would need more time to really see everything. There were clothes from the past. I don't know how people wore some of those things. They looked like they would be uncomfortable. I like to wear my jeans. There were things from wars. There were bullets and cannons and even uniforms from the soldiers. I don't think that war is a good thing, but it is good to remember the past and honor the people who died for your country. There was an old fire truck at the museum. This fire truck was pulled by a horse. There were some very old photographs of the firemen putting out fires. There were rooms in the museum that were set up like an old house. There were antique irons and sewing machines. The women used to clean the clothes with a washboard. There were no modern appliances back then. I'm glad that we have electricity and modern appliances. The things that we have make life so much easier. There were mummies from Egypt at the museum. I was fascinated by those. There were artifacts from the Indians. There were arrowheads and cradles that the babies slept in. I tried my best to see everything, but it was almost impossible. The museum is a good place to learn about your past. I tried imagining my grandparents using some of the things that were on display in the museum. The police. My mother always told me that if I got lost, I could go up to a policeman and that he would help me to find my way home. I never did get lost, but I always remembered what my mother told me about the police. I think policemen look nice in their uniforms. I see police officers drive by in their police cars. In my town, we even have police officers on bicycles. Policemen and police women have a job that can sometimes be dangerous. They have to catch people who break the law. Sometimes, they have to chase people or try to calm them down. To be a police officer, you need a lot of training. It's important to be able to deal with people effectively. A police officer came to our school. He had a police dog with him. The officer showed us how the dog could track down criminals. The dog was very smart. He could even find things that were hidden. Criminals sometimes hide things that they don't want the police to find. The policeman told us that he and his dog were partners. His dog lives at his house with the policeman and his family. Sometimes I see police cards on the side of the road. The police stop people who are speeding or are not wearing their seat belts. The police officers warn people or give out tickets. Sometimes they even have to arrest people. Police officers are just doing their job when they arrest people. Some people need to be arrested and put in jail to make it safer for the rest of us. Pretending I'd like to pretend. I like to make up things that aren't real. I use my imagination. I was pretending that I was in a time machine. 
I set the date for a prehistoric time. I turned on the time machine, and it buzzed inward and spun madly. When it stopped spinning, I opened the door and stepped out in a very thick jungle. I listened carefully to the sounds of the jungle. I could hear strange animal noises, and the leaves were rustling. I wasn't sure if I'd gone back in time, or just landed in a jungle somewhere in the twenty-first century. It didn't take me long to realize that I had indeed gone back in time. A very strange bird-like creature with a large beak flew overhead. I had never seen anything like it in my life. I took a few steps out into the long grass and ferns. I didn't want to go too far away from my time machine. I heard a noise over on my right side. There was a man who looked quite different from me. He was dressed in animal skin, and he carried a big stick. I didn't want him to see me, so I hid behind a tree. He didn't speak any language that I could understand. He grunted at someone who must have been in the distance. Then I felt the earth shake beneath my feet. I heard giant thumps on the ground as the floor of the jungle shook. The man and the animal skin began to run. I saw why he was running. A giant dinosaur appeared above the tops of the trees. It was bigger than anything that I had ever seen. My heart began to pound in my chest. It was coming towards me. I ran towards my time machine and jumped in. I set the dial for the 21st century. The machine whirled and buzzed. My time machine landed in the 21st century. I got away just in time.